that's the well that generates 5% of the revenue. Right. But what's the status of the number two well since receipt of the uh, September 3rd, 2014 orders? Number two well has not operated from since we received the order. So it's 100% shut in? Yes, sir. Uh, there was a seismic event out there approximately August 31, correct? Yes, sir. And could you describe what happened between AWMS and the state officials between the occurrence of that event and the issuance of the Chief's orders for Exhibit 6? Um, <clears throat> when the, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you're asking about starting from the July event? No, starting from the August event. The August event. Um, that occurred, the August 31st event occurred on Labor Day weekend. Um, we found out about it uh, because the trip, the USGS you know, earthquake notification system, and one of the newspapers in the area got along with it. Um, and uh, we were unable to get a hold of anybody at the division on September 1st, the next day, because it was Labor Day. On September 2nd, um, we had several conversations with uh, the division. Um, Deputy Chief Warstow and I talked uh, several times throughout that day. Um, we asked if uh, they want us to do anything differently. Um, they had me submit pressure and volume data from the previous two months. We were asked at that time if we would consider a voluntary uh, suspension on that, that well. Um, this was late in the day on September 2nd, and I told the Deputy Chief that um, I would try to get our management team together to talk about this, but asked him if we can set up a conference call for the next morning with the division personnel. Then we had that conference call. There was another conference call in the afternoon. Um, and, uh, and this was September 3rd. After the second conference call, it was on the technical aspects of the, uh, uh, the seismic event and the volumes, um, where our, we had our seismologist and the states on the call, our geologist. There were several attorneys on the call. Um, the assistant chief told us that after they talk about it internally, they will let us know what they want to do. The next communication were, were the orders. Would you look at Exhibit 7 in the notebook? <coughs> what is Exhibit 7? The orders for, uh, for the suspension of the number two well um, required us also to submit a plan, a plan um, calling for the, um, or describing the evaluation, and we weren't entirely sure what was to be in this plan. Um, I met with division personnel on um, September 8th, 2014, and was told at that time that the contents of the plan should be a proposal for a restart of the number two well. And was a result, what's in here as number, as exhibit seven? Yes, what, what, uh, th this is what we submitted in response to that order. Now it includes more than a plan for the, the restart. We uh, describe in here the background of the well itself and the operations. Um, we talk about the existing science out there concerning induced seismicity. Um, and, and there were several good resources. We talk about what other states are doing and what Ohio has done in response to induced seismicity. And then the, uh, um, the final part of it is actually a proposal for setting operational and management controls on the well. Um, as well as monitoring, real-time monitoring, so that the uh, <coughs> seismicity remains at very insignificant levels. So, 
question without getting into the details. It was a plan submitted by AWMS submitted in response to the Chief's order? It was. And again, without getting into the details, does that plan um, suggest that the well be turned on at a lower level, monitored, and data collected on that level? Yes. It's essentially a traffic light system that has different thresholds where different operational controls are hit. Uh, the plan submitted by AWMS at the, at the order of the state dated September 17th, um, has the state of Ohio ever responded to this proposed plan? No, they have not. We have asked for feedback uh, numerous times. Okay. Now, if you 